So let's have a look how we can build Pareto chart. So please open a file attached to the lecture, which is called advanced charts in Excel MT. And let's go to the sheet Pareto. So here we will have the data that we will need for the chart. We've got the sales by customer in column J. And on the basis of that, we have calculated the cumulative sales. So in the first row, we've got the sales of customer one. In the second, of customer one and two. In the third, customer one, two and three, and so on and so forth. So in row 13, corresponding to the customer eight, we've got the total sales. On the basis of column L, we have calculated the share in total sales. So since we've got 55% in row six, this would mean that customer one generates 55% of total sales. Then since we've got 70 in row second, this would mean that customer one and two in total are responsible for 70% of the share. Then if we go to row eight, so customer three, this means that those three biggest customers are responsible for 79% of the total sales. This type of chart requires you obviously to sort the data. At the top, you should have the biggest customer and at the bottom, the smallest customer. In other words, the data have to be sorted using descending order. Once you have this, we can create a chart like that. And this will be pretty easy. First, select the data. We press in insert. We pick com chart and then we go to change chart type. We go down to the bottom option combo. And here we will have a clustered column for the first cumulative, it will be one, but we will have a secondary axis because it's from zero to one, so 100%. And there you've got the chart. So the only thing you have to do now is to work on formatting it. So remove the grid, remove the chart title, change the color of the data series, make the axis bold, make the sales cumulative bold, as you can see, we have to add data labels. So you click on the data series, press and data labels. We do the same thing for the sales. We'll make them bold as well. We can also change the position of the labels when it comes to the cumulative sales in percentage. So we press the data labels and then format data labels. And here below we'll have label position. This will be in the first option. And here instead of right, we'll have above. We'll close it so we can compare the charts. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Let's move the chart to the right. And the last thing is to remove the outline. So we have to right click on the mouse and then outline, no outline. And there you've got the Pareto chart. So have a look at that and repeat what we have done here. If you have any questions, please let me know.